Right folks, I've finished the bridal path. I didn't spend loads of time videoing. Chatted to an ex cop policeman with a police dog. He's a police dog handler. And then he's got a, a dog now who's a therapy dog now because she couldn't really do police work. <laughs> so she's used for therapy instead. Anyway, he had his kids and he was going through the bridal path, letting them have practice on their mountain bikes, in, you know, without being feared of run over and that. And, um, yeah, it was good. Happy little family that was. And I thought, what well behaved children. I mean, both the ch boys said, oh, thank you, you know, because I let them pass on their bikes. They both responded in a, in a positive way. That. I can't stop taking pictures of flowers, you know. I can't, just can't help it. I decided, no, I'm going to do the hut and walk. I want to go through the whole thing. I haven't done it for ages. And what a good time of year to do it. If you think about it. In spring. Everything's in blossom. It's beautiful. Like I said, I sometimes cut through a, over a gate and cut out a bit of the wood. But I think to myself, because I haven't done it for a while, um, I'll go down to the bottom and go up the... It is a bit of a little climb. Not too much. Not too much, not really. That's another... F they've all got these big vehicles out here, you know. Oh, I have now. Before now, I've climbed over that one. They've got cameras in the trees here, mind. Have they? Yeah. You're on camera in here. They've got hidden cameras. I've spotted them a few times. But it wasn't this one I used to get in. Further down here, there's a little gap. <laughs> And a gate with no barbed wire on it. <laughs> I expect they know people do that as well. But this is quite nice. This is better going down. This is part of what what we call the Roman road. Um, I've cycled this route, and believe me, it's it's hard. Something coming. Another four by four, probably. Hello, what are you doing there? Where are your friends to take them? Looking for mice? Over there, that's got barbed wire on it, right? That fence has got barbed wire on it and it says it's got a camera. It could have been back there a bit where I used to get in the edge. Oh, it could be round the back there. There's somewhere I used to get in. Um it's through there somewhere yeah not in that bit yeah it was back there in there but we're not doing that today we're going to go down the hill and we're going up the little track we're going to walk all the way through Hutton Wood my legs don't ache at all the shoes are doing really well This is what you call Canada Coombe, everyone. This is what you call Canada Coombe. And I spat. There would have been wild garlic. There is bits of wild garlic that. Maybe it's not all out yet. Or it's fading. Um, wild garlic and bluebells. All, especially up the other side of the coombe where I think it gets more sunlight or something or it gets less sunlight <sighs> it's nice to walk this as well now and again do you know what I mean because um, I don't drive anywhere now so the only time you ever see anything now is if I uh, got a big tree 
is if I walk there. And I'm not going to waste a day being indoors. If it's going to rain and pour and have a storm tomorrow, I can catch up on all the videos, do the editing, the presenting. Yeah, I think this, they are looking a bit pale now, a bit limp. Aren't they? A bit sparse. Do you know what I'd like to see again? A thrush. And a blackbird. They used to be really common when I was a kid. And I haven't seen a thrush or a blackbird for a very long time. They're probably out here in the countryside. They're not town birds, are they? The blackbird's a very noisy bird. We're going past a couple of houses now. I'll take a picture here. The cottage right down, a bit further down, is where we turn up and go in, up into the wood. Just down the bottom now. There's a couple of other big houses here. What you don't want to meet is a rock violet do you? Garden the property. Wouldn't stand a chance, would I? <sighs> you see big pools. You always think they could get out if they wanted to. Mendip Way Farm. Now we're going to go up near that tree over there. See that tree over there? We'll be passing that in a minute. Because they've been doing the cottage up down here for quite a while now. That one with the orange tiles, terracotta tiles. Yeah, that was a real oldie worldy place. They extended it and everything. So we didn't have to come far, and now we can walk through the wood. Yeah, it's gradually come to shape. You never thought it would. Still got a little bit of its oldie worldy character on the end there. You know? A little bit as it's got to be rendered. And the old door, I think they've kept the old door on there. But it's always extended at the back. Right, so we go up here. And this takes us through the edge of Hutton Wood. A lot of Hutton Wood, I think, is private. It's very tickified. Hmm. Yeah, they've done well with that house. You never thought it'd ever get to look like that when they were gutting it out and doing it all. Right, I'm going to turn off for a bit. Right, I've just had a little rummage again in the, this little dumping glass bottle dumping area in the middle of the wood. I just rescued a, a part of a camp coffee bottle. So I'll probably throw it out in the end. I'll take it home at the moment, see if I can repair the lid on top. But other people are probably rummaged here. But everything's broken. Lovely blue glass, old green bottles, some flagons. Someone's just smashed it all up. Beautiful little old items of glass and pottery. I don't know if I'll keep that camp bottle. I probably it's full of probably full of bugs. I'll put it in my bag. <sighs> I don't see anything, but could be a nest of bloody ticks in it. I don't know. I'm taking it home to see if I can restore it. It's most of it's there. I think I've got the top to it. 
I'm not quite sure it didn't fit properly, but it was the right colour. More junk, you can say. And it made my bag heavy already. Oh, that's a bit like a glove. Did I once lose a glove like that? You know, I got a feeling I did. I got some like that at home a long time ago. <sighs> anyway, this is Hutton Wood, everyone. And sometimes I would come through a field and get over that gate there. Or go further up and then climb through the wall. I haven't done it today. I'm quite happy because I wanted to do this bit. I wanted to do Hutton Wood. During the Covid period, to be quite honest, I did Hutton Wood a lot. I would come over to Hutton and do it a lot. That bit of machinery is still there. I don't know if it's changed position, but that's been there for donkeys. Might be able to take a picture of it, but this is due for a battery charger. But it might just take that. <coughs> Another picture there. It's lasted quite well, but I haven't done one video with it. Sony's still going. Sony's still going. Like I said, I don't video this route all the time. Um, I might just take the odd photo. Don't do it all the time. But if sometimes if it's a different time of year, I would do it. Because it's different when it's winter. Sometimes as there were little tracks, they all seem to have gone where you could wander into it deeper. It's uh, I think they've stopped people using them because of the ash dry back. They've actually not destroyed as such, covered up a lot of paths and let nature grow over them to stop people roaming and all this chopped down stuff to keep people off from the deeper part of the wood where ash dieback, as you can see the trees are black but some of them are still alive though because I can see leaves and they might be healing like you said they're, all, they're letting nature heal some of them and they don't really want people going in so I suppose you could carry the bug on you you know disease is disease isn't it be coming up to a gate in a minute where I'm going to stop and have another drink of water and get the charger out. It's probably about up or two now, going on three. We're doing quite well. Time goes quick. But this is more like an afternoon walk now. I didn't get... I didn't, the bus didn't arrive till about quarter to eleven, so you know it was a late, it's a late walk really for me. <sighs> but um, if we're going to have a spell of bad weather, I'm glad I've whacked a load of walks in. YouTube is waiting. Some months were very sparse in video and I, I catch up with family tree in the winter I haven't done anything since this week nothing nothing at all because I'm out I'm out and about they used to have cows in that field up there in the past and sometimes they would roam into the wood yeah, all the little paths there were, there were paths. All gone. You used to be able to wander down in there, for example. 
Like I said, that's an ash dieback tree. But it looks like it's recovering. That one's just about a lot of ash here. But they might recover if we leave them alone. And then we're coming up to a gate here with a field. And I have roamed all around that before. Um, I've been in there, walked right round and got through the wood the other side. But here's a lovely little bit. I've, I've really enjoyed this part of the walk, by the way. Um, when I get to this bit. I'll just take a picture from here. It might just do it, see? What I know about this bit, for most people struggle to get through here because there's not enough room. They haven't gone back enough for, especially for larger people. I mean, I'm skinny, but I've got to breathe in quite a lot to get through. And some, probably some people have to take their bow off. <sighs> oh, yeah, see the camera wants the battery charger on it now. Men did, um, craftsmen did a lot of repair to the wall there. Uh, it used to be all gappy there and you could just walk straight into the field. But they've repaired it. But there will be gaps further up. But I just, I watched them do that. It was really beautiful how they've done it. Um, clever really. Yeah, lots of ash die back in that, in that wood actually. It's a very ashy wood, so it's it, it, people don't go in it. So basically, they are recovering naturally. I think. Oh, that yeah, I think so. I'm going to stop in a minute because I need to take some photos, like now. So let's just stop. Let's just turn off for a second.